Hey my cupcakes, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be showing you guys a first impression on the new Elf Camel CC Cream. I asked everyone on my Instagram whether or not I should do this video or not and everyone voted yes. So if you guys are not following me on my social media like Instagram which I am very active on, follow me. It's 808 Cupcakes. Everything is going to be in the description box down below. So a quick little rundown about the product, um, this is going to run you about $14, there's about 20 shades. Um, with the shade selection though, I'm going to say that it is kind of hard to find your perfect shade. I'm not even too sure if this is going to match me correctly just because I got some sun over the week. And even before I got sun, thinking this is going to be my perfect shade, I never tried it yet. Um, but choosing your shade seemed very difficult online. Um, it's always hard to go for a shade online when you can't see it in person but I noticed that I could be in between shades but the undertones would be different so hopefully even with the 20 shades that they launched in this collection maybe they'll have more shade options just because it is hard because if you're in between I noticed a lot of other people here on YouTube that did a review on it said that you know finding your shade could be hard with the undertones um, I also want to mention that no one else kind of said in their video was it says to reapply every two hours so they're treating it like it's an actual just sunscreen um this has spf 30 and i don't know about you but if i'm going to be doing my makeup and doing a full beat or something like that i'm not going to be reapplying this every two hours so for the sake of the video i won't be doing that i'm going to apply it like how i normally would with my base makeup just one time powder set it and then i'll do check-ins with you guys throughout the day and i also want to mention that i got the shade medium 330 w some of the claims is going to be a full coverage and natural finish so when a product says that it's going to be a natural finish for me um it's not going to be a matte it's not going to be a dewy it's going to be more like a satin finish which is supposed to kind of look like skin and healthy so that's something i like because right now my skin has been super dry I don't know if you guys can tell, but I do have a lot of texture going on right now and discoloration. So I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Round Kabuki brush and a sponge, which is something I normally like to use. This one is just from Wet n Wild. So probably before filming, I went ahead and prepped my skin, washed it, moisturized it, and primed. I am using the Poreless Primer on my cheeks. And for my nose where I normally get oily, I'm using my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Um, mattifying primer just because my nose do get really really oily so this is the product the shade looks really good so I'm just gonna go ahead and dot it along my face oh god that looks light maybe I take it back and for me I don't like to have a lot of foundation on my face so I'm very like you know so on this side, I'm going to go ahead and use my brush and buff it in. So the shade I chose is supposed to have an olive undertone to it. It's warm but with olive undertones. And then for this side, I'm going to use a sponge. I'm just going to go over my nose with a sponge. Alrighty guys, so I just finished putting on the rest of my makeup. I finished... Um, putting concealer, setting my face with the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. This is the current one that I've been using. The mattifying one kind of just dries on my skin a little bit too much, so I really like it. And then I put my blush, lips on, um, and my little contour thing going on. I do want to mention looking up close, they look, my skin looks really nice and smooth. Um, both sides kind of looks the same after, you know, putting everything else on my face and setting it. But I do still like the side that I had used the sponge. It looks a lot more smoother over my pores on my cheeks. So this side on my cheek area did look a little bit more heavier than this side. Um, so it's currently 
30 so I'm going to go ahead and use this for a few hours and do a little check-in and also want to do a flash test. Currently 2 o'clock right now in the afternoon, so I've had the CC cream for about maybe in one and a half, two hours. I forgot the check-in time, honestly. Um, but I just want to note that I did not go out and I did not leave my house yet. So I'm not too sure how it's going to be with a mask on since, you know, that's how we live nowadays. But I do want to notice or let you guys know, honestly, that I noticed this area looking really heavy. I'll go ahead and insert a clip up close, but... In my chin area, it looks very textured, very heavy for it being a very light CC cream. Like, I don't feel it on my face. Um, it's very lightweight. But certain areas of my face where I know there's a lot of texture, it's very heavy. And I don't like that. It could be because this side is the where I use the brush and this side is the sponge. Um, I also want to notice or let you guys see up close if it'll focus, but... The corners of my nose is creasing so bad and it's wearing out so bad. Um, mainly on this area where I use the brush because this side, it's not separating as bad. Like this side is totally disappearing along the corners of my nose and I don't understand. Like it looked like it had more coverage with the brush. But honestly the side with the sponge is holding up a lot better. It looks a lot more lightweight. Um, my nose itself on the right side, um, where I use the brush is very heavy and just me kind of touching my nose to move it aside, um, it did transfer a little bit. And for me, just having the product on for about two hours and not going out, I do know that the area that I live in is 82 degrees, so it's super hot and I am sweating. So I'm just probably going to have this on for maybe about two more hours. I'm editing some vlogs and other videos right now. So I'm probably not going to be going out, so let's see how this wears till the end of the day. Alrighty guys, so that's going to be it for this first impression. I am cutting it a little bit short today. It's currently almost 5pm. So I haven't really had the CC cream on for very, very long. And I haven't been going out and about at all today. So this is just like a first impression of me using it and being home I guess um, but I will say that um, the reason why I'm cutting it short is because I am losing daylight I had to move my curtain way open just to get some light in here so that's that um, so this is how the CC cream is looking right now in natural daylight it looks very very pretty on the skin I really like how it looks like in person like on the skin it honestly looks like like skin Except for the areas that it's kind of clean and kind of heavy, which was this area of my chin. Um, it could be that I used a brush. Um, again, this side of my nose creased even more and it's fading. Uh, my nose tends to fade very fast, I guess, because I get very oily in that area. Um, but it's just inevitable, so... But looking at it on the viewfinder, you guys, it looks very, very pretty. It looks like skin. I even asked my dad what he thinks about my face makeup today, and he said it looks nice, it looks natural, I don't look oily. Um, in my opinion, I don't know if it's because I'm hot and I'm sweating and it's like 80-something degrees right now, but I feel oily. Like, I don't think I look too oily like i don't think much has changed from the last time i showed you guys my last check-in um i did just powder my face with a little bit that was left over on the powder nothing crazy but then again i'm setting it and repowdering my face with a glowing powder um and it looks like this so it looks really really pretty i do feel a little oily in my t-zone so maybe the elf mattifying powder would work um but let me know if you guys use this product and you guys notice flashback because all of the other first impressions and reviews of these e.l.f. CC cream, no one had flashbacks or none of the videos I watched had flashbacks. So I'm thinking it's the e.l.f. Um, setting powder that's giving me a flashback in the um, pictures that I showed you guys in this video as well as other photos that I use this product in. There's flashback. So I'm going to try using this product with another type of setting powder. Maybe that'll work. But other than that, I really like how it looks like. I don't even feel it on my face. It's not heavy at all. 
I wouldn't say this is a super long lasting type of foundation or CC cream. Um, something that you could use every day. It's lightweight, good coverage, really, really good coverage. It looks like skin. But if I want something that's going to last me a little bit longer, then I would probably just do my other foundation routine that is on my channel that I'll link down below. But so for the price and for what it is, I would highly suggest trying this out if you can find your shade and if e.l.f. ever comes across in my video. Hopefully, they'll come out with more shades and better undertones because honestly, I mean, it looks good in camera, but I can tell that it's a little off. It's a little gray. So maybe they can do better with their shade selections. Um, it is a new product, so maybe they'll put more out. But yeah, let me know down below if you guys enjoyed this first impression, if it helped you. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments area and I can try to give you answers to them. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on the product either on my Instagram or I could do another follow-up video here on my channel. But if you guys like this video and found it helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you guys haven't already subscribed and be one of my cupcakes, hit the subscribe button down below and follow me on my other social media. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!